far to the west of the Valkyrian range, beyond the eternal snows of the Brogdor Peak, a frozen fog has taken over the Renker Valley, slivering through the huts of a small settlement like an ashen serpent, setting a layer of frost onto every thatched roof it touched, icing over cups of mead from the night past, and claiming the life of an unfortunate sheep, mistakenly left unattended outside. The mountain is unforgiving, and Valkyrians have learned to survive the hard way. Haldor woke up that morning, grasping for air, a bite at his throat, frost on the window. Winter had deployed its cold wings, and Haldor would endure it to ensure the village carries through the season. The scent of grilling herbs and the sounds of younglings playing outside were calling to him. A proof that life was out there and it needed protecting. That was enough to find the courage to get out of bed, enough to make him grease his braid, paint cobalt markings on his face, and put on a set of worn greaves and bearings. Grab the thick coated cape that old Bjorn had patched up the day before, and march through the heavy wooden guarded door to his hut. The village was bubbling with excitement to prepare the traditional Sialg ceremony. Yevo the blacksmith was engraving traditional runes on battle axes. Knuts and Bjorn were reinforcing sheaves and capes with stone snout scales, and helpers were filling bales of mead and Akan bread, while the rest of the Renkbari was making an offering to the gods. The Sialg festivals were seen by Volkers as a necessary pleasure to preserve their traditions. Gatherings allowed villagers to exchange crafted goods and dragons, arrange wedlocks, but more importantly, ritualed hunts carried for three days, ensured protection throughout the range by keeping populations of feral dragons and feeble beasts at bay. Far from what one might expect as brutal raids, hunts were considered as an art in which storm raisers excelled thanks to their affinity with elements. Preparations finished as the sun broke through the fog, this was the sign of frozen winds shifting, and the time to take flight. But a storm raisers led by Haldor marched to the village ridge to harness their stone snouts. They noticed the mounts were agitated. Something was off. A scout confirmed the foreboding. Fresh markings of an unknown beast on the eastern side of the valley larger than the average dragon. Two or three days ago, in the direction of the sanctuary, a white demon of the fjords roaming about, threatening the valley.